What was the, your combine experience like in 2000? Stressful, man. So I wasn't going to run or do anything when I went there because everyone back then, no one ran. You know, it was like, you, can, you should wait till you're probably because you're going to run faster. You're going to be more comfortable, blah, blah, blah. So, and then I got there and I, I sat in a meeting with the Bears and Coach Bosch goes, are you running tomorrow? I said, no, sir, I'm not. I was advised not to run. He goes, what do you got to hide? Are you not in shape? I said, no. I was advised not to run. He goes, are you not fast? Are you, uh, can you not do the drills? I was like, no, I can do them. I just was told not to. He goes, well, I feel like you're hiding something if you don't run. So, of course, I went out and ran the next day. Thank goodness I did. And anyway, his, his thought was, you know, every GM's here, every scout's here, every head coach is here, and they're not, they're not allowed to be at your pro day. So this is your best chance to showcase your abilities in front of every single one of them. That was Greg Blosh, right? The the yeah, defense, was, yeah, the, Greg Blosh, the defense right, yeah, right. So who was the head? Who, who, did you have any meetings with the, anybody named McCaskey? Any, I mean, who else did you chat with? From the Bears, uh, you know, I don't know if they were in our meeting or not. You know, Mark Hadley was in there, who was our uh, our GM at the time. Um, Coach Jerome was in there. Coach Coach Lindsay was in there, but I don't honestly don't remember. You know, at that time, everything because you go from meeting to meeting, and it's just you just you know you're trying to answer everyone's questions properly. So I don't remember. I remember Coach Schwartz, uh, the D coordinator. I, is he still at Philly? Yeah. So he was he was a DC at Tennessee at the time. He was tough on me, man. He was asking me some questions. How could you help our team? Why should we draft you? Do you we don't know if you'd be able to help us or not. I was like, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I think I'm pretty fast and I can tackle people. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. <laughs> did you go? Did you get asked? Did you get asked any of those crazy ass questions? What's what, what's the craziest question you remember that was asked of you at the combine, uh, You know, the, the weirdest thing for me was just walking around with your shirt off all day. You know, there's 300 guys there, and every every where you go, no one's dressed. It's just weird. It's not Come on. weird, but you know, it's a meat market. You know, for those for those two or three hours where you're doing your weights and your um, measurements, all that stuff, everyone's just walking around with their shirt off, like no big deal. You weren't. And, I, I guess it, Come it, it's on. just weird. You weren't flexing. Brian, come on. You weren't doing You know what? Um, the muscles back then were flexed all the time. I didn't need to flex. Mm -hmm. I was young, and I was no, no body fat. And a little different now, but um, back then, I didn't have to walk around flexing. Do you remember what you ran? I ran a 4, 5, 8, or 7 at the Combine, and I was so happy. You know, that was a slow turf, Rich, back then, too. And you should know that with your 40 days, you know. But as many 40s as you ran, you should know the um, – how that goes? Well, my forty days are still going, Brian. When was the last time? When well, was the last time you ran? The, the turf is faster in Indy now. Oh yeah. Have you noticed that in your forty time? I noticed that, uh, or that's just me getting faster, Brian. But you know, that could just be that. I think it's you actually, because the turf line hasn't changed in a few years. But I think it's more rich. Thank you. Than the turf. I'm a fine yeah. wine, brother. You knew. You know that. And it's as you know, <laughs> as you as you know, I have the aerodynamic dome for that sort you of do. thing. I don't think that's as big a deal as you think it is, but um, it could uh, it could help you a little bit. Maybe a tenth or a okay. hundred, I don't know. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.